there was treasure. Is there treasure up the other end? Yeah. Come on. Right, let's go up the other end. Uh -huh. Come on, Tracy. The intrepid explorers are going around the other side. Nosy. Nosy, yeah. <laughs> That's quite a long way to get around the other side for the time being. Have you been up there, uh, Jane? Up? Top of this barn? No, I was no. going to ask Tony. I have never actually been up the top of this barn. No, I haven't. But while hard. Tony is around here, I will get him to escort me in case I fall down the stairs. Because yeah. I am clumsy, you see. Or put my foot through the ceiling or something. But yes, I have to go up there and film. Right. So we've come back round to the courtyard of the front house and we're going through the hole in the wall into the middle house. This is quite slippery here, so be careful, Tracy. Right. As you can see, we never do get round to finishing clearing it. If we ever took a turn for the worse, then Tony, Tony's brush cutter wouldn't work, but we can get in and out at least. Right. There might be some brambles though, Tracy. Yeah. Might trip you up here. I'll come prepared this time with my torch. Oh, look. Oh, I've not seen that before. This is what he's saying about treasure, isn't it? That's quite a tiny little bed head. I wonder if the rest of it is there. Because obviously the the base is there, look. Oh, it's one of those folding ones. Yeah. Can you see this bit here, Tracy? Look. There's the other end. Yeah. And it folds up. Oh right. They've pulled this out from that entrance way, haven't they? Look, there's an old radiator they've pulled out. This fridge that I've looked at before. And What's as somebody thing? said, we want to save that handle. What's that? That, I think. Okay. Um, he said it was a washing machine, but I think it's a cooker. Oh, no. I wanted a new cooker. No, it's a cooker. It's a cooker. It's a Ooh, yeah. Anyway, let's go and see what treasure they think they found. Oh, another dodgy bed. We've seen this what before. Inside? They're down here, yeah. What's that then? Look. What's this? I don't know, actually. It's, it's blooming heavy. It's, it's a weight. It's got a a loop on the top. Oh, I don't yeah, know what it's yeah, a weight yeah, for. Yeah. Got, yeah. Mm. yeah it's, if, try and lift it, Tracy. So see how heavy that is. Try and lift that. Oh my God! <laughs> That's a two-handed job. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my God! Right. God. So you've dragged out the old cooker and the old fridge and the old bed. What have you found? Another bed. Another bed? Yeah. What, but where you are now? Yeah. Right, I'm going to try I wonder and... how long it took this for is this a bit higher, this ground. To grow all like that in All the this years. ivy? I don't know. It's been there a while. And the tree. Look, they've just chopped this yeah. tree down. That was actually growing over the top of the gate. Right. What treasure have we found? Is that a window? Yeah. So, another bed of which is, if you can just about see it in all that ivy, it's all tangled up. Because the ivy's grown all the way through it, a folded up metal bed with the springs. And some, you can see where they've chopped down some of the trunks of the trees. So what did you find? You said you found some more treasure, or are you talking about this bed? Well, bed and things and other things we haven't come across yet. How? You said there was treasure up this end. See the little thingy bit, didn't you? The little kiddies bed out there? The fold-up bed, yeah. Oh, no, that was quite interesting. Oh my word, what is that? Concrete or stone? Snow. On the floor. 
No, but what's this? It looks like a giant gravestone. No, I don't know. That, that's what it is. It's not. That's what they've done. Got rid of the nosy people. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it is a gravestone, but... <laughs> is this another trip to the tip I can see coming? Can they do skips in France? No. No, you have to take it to the Duchettery. They don't have skips like we do. Plastic yeah, it's been there a long time, hasn't it? Is that a, a bed? It is a bed, isn't it? It's not a cot. Don't know yet. They used to have quite a lot of these fold up metal beds. They're almost, they look a bit like hospital beds. <laughs> Do I sense the bonfire coming on, so? Yes. That's good because we need to get rid of the Christmas tree as well. It's still attached. Have you got some some secateurs? I could cut it. It's a bit novel to be able to come through the sideway, aren't it? To come in here. Oops. <laughs> I don't think as much of that glass left, is there? Tony, Hello. there's a huge big pile of slates here. Yeah, I know, yeah. Damn. <laughs> More to clear. From October 1963. Oh, in the back. In this bit here. Oh, so we've been, been in there. here and seen there's some in there. I'll show you in a minute. From 1903. No. Yeah. Do you want to come in and have a look? No, that's a what's name, yeah. That's Are we okay. waiting to see? That's your, that's your beer you can't get in. Yeah, oh. I haven't been in here for a while. What a secret passageway. Right. Oh, Tracy's gone without me. Tracy, you're in the dark. You're brave. Let's just see. Let's just, I'm just checking to see if there's any, any creatures hanging about. I think they've all gone, but occasionally there's one up here. No, there's nothing in there. Right. Yeah, see, you can see where the mess is on the floor, where they sometimes hang on the wire. Yeah. Uh, what does that one say? Now, that one's 1911. That one there, Tracy. But, yeah, there is some on the wall here, which I think is 1903. Right. Um... Yeah, this about Everest and I think that might have been 1911. What's this one here? I forget now which ones we found because we found quite a lot of old newspapers. don't think this one's got the date on it. Here's the keys. Now one of these big ones might fit that gate. See all these keys on here? Yeah. They must fit something. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, I know. It's still got stuff in it. I don't know what it is. But yeah. Some sort of home brew, I think. Or it could be... Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly won't be trying to find out exactly what's in there. No, Tracy. Oh, don't. Oh, oh. What, Tracy, look. Is it just me, or is it just a patch of wallpaper, or is there like a, what looks like a secret door behind there? See that patch? Can you see what I'm looking at? Yeah, let me just get it. Here. Is it? <gasps> what is it? Oh, it's nothing exciting. It's but like, yeah, but it's where it's they. It's a hid, secret. It's where they hid the keys. What's this? Thing? Oh, oh, man. Hang on, let me film. Let me film it. Go on. Then. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, oh! You broke it. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> it. It's gonna... You broke it from the cabinet. Oh, oh that's where they hid the keys in. That's strange, isn't it? Look, behind the wallpaper, it's a secret door. I don't even know if Tony's ever seen that. I don't think he has. It's a secret cupboard. Do you know what? It just makes you think, what else are you going to find? Yes. We haven't even started really on this place. When you start pulling things apart, you do. I've seen, I've never noticed, I've never Amazing. seen that. 
and I've been in here a few times and we did come in here and film. It's only because I noticed the wallpaper around the edges there. Oh, Tracy, you've discovered a secret cupboard. <laughs> be careful though, Tracy, because sometimes it's um, not stuff you want to be breathing in. Yeah, I wouldn't pull it apart too much if I was you. But look, yeah, several layers. We found a secret door. I haven't done it properly, don't they? Well, yeah, it probably, probably no, yeah, it does up, match up, actually. They, they've, looked, they've matched the pattern up. <laughs> probably when it was done, you wouldn't... I, I've never noticed it before, so yeah. it was obviously quite well concealed. Mm -hmm. And I've only noticed it because it started curling around the edges. Oh, I see, find things all the time. It's not on that side, is there? No. <laughs> oh, no. no, it's just plastered behind there. It's difficult to film because it's quite dark, but... We did come in here before with the top. I just love this fireplace. It's in the cooker, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a. Um, yeah. Oh, don't. What's in there? I've never even opened it up actually, but yeah, it's like a. Um, it's like a range type. Yeah, that would be for your ash. Yeah, it must be some, some sort of solid fuel. Nothing in there, no. They haven't hidden the water fibres, no. no. They've stripped this bare, haven't they? Yeah. I'm not sure I know but even that's interesting, isn't it? How the, what they used to cook on. What we're used to now. Yeah, a new baking tray. Yeah. It's amazing. It's all enamel, isn't it? It's just yeah. <laughs> amazing. I know. And this obviously, this plate on the top, see that bit with the square? You would yeah. use that hooky thing that's still there, look. This. To hook that up, and then you have put your fuel in there. Yeah, so that's where your fuel would go. Hang on, sorry, that's not to show you. I see the little grate at the bottom there. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, Come what that is. Way. Can't really see. Hang on. Oh, the floor drops there. Again, it just looks like a pile of ash, doesn't it? Is it? On the top of the cooker. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what that would be for. But have you seen this fireplace with these feet? Look, the big claws on the bottom. It's amazing. A big lion's feet. Yeah? Yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? I reckon. A witch do you know? A witch. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> do you want to go upstairs? See, I, um, I don't go up there on my own. Oh, I do. What was that bang? No, let's leave upstairs for another day. Oh, okay. Oh, unless you want to go up there. Uh, I could go and see a little bit of it, couldn't I? And then, then film the rest another day. <laughs> you don't. It's all rotten. But the flagstones are not rotten. Right, I'm just a bit. Get up there. <laughs> I know. Go on then, you first. Oh, thank you, Jane. Go on, Tracy. Oh. Don't you down? Because it was a bit rotten. Because above us, the roof was leaking and pouring water all down here. But I love these balustrades. See, there's probably things up here that I haven't seen because I've only been. I think I've only been up here once or twice. You're braver than me. Right, and then it carries on up the top there, but I'm not going up that bit today. We'll just do this bit, Tracy. So, oh, again, this is part of where the most damage is because of the the roof that's been leaking for years and years. Oh, it's <laughs> that's what they used to have. It's like a bedside that would be over the top yeah. of your bed, so you didn't have to get out of bed to turn your light off. It's mould. <laughs> but look at that on the ceiling. It looks pretty gross. But it's just years of cobwebs and damp and the rain coming through. I actually quite like that shade. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Very French. But yeah, be careful where you're treading because the floors might be a bit rotten. I really love the colour of that. I'll have to get Tony to get that one down and I'll give it a clean up. And this is the window that you can see from our courtyard. I'm just watching my step here. Um, yeah, I'll show you the view from the window, which obviously is this little walled garden at the back here. And across to our sheeted up barn, 
And that there is the roof of the wood store. And this side of the building is the other end of the barn that the boys are working in. Right. Oh, no, Tracy, don't leave me behind. <laughs> Where are you? Ah, okay. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> You didn't. No, I hope you're not. Oh, be careful. Because this goes into the barn and the floor is rotten by the by the front of it. Right? I've got my torch now, just don't tread on that bit of the floor. I have never been that step there is okay. Look at the size of this barn. Now I've never been able to get but that piece of the floor there is very wet. There. And that is the bit that's falling in where you go through to the. To Please don't spread on it, Tracy. I've never even been brave enough to look around that corner. Oh, okay. I think there's some baskets and oh, things. Right. But again, I say we've never ventured in there yeah. yet. Um, I'm going to. I'm just standing on the step. Oh, oh, we could have done with that yesterday. Look, there's a giant galvanised bucket here. Mm -hmm. Ah, there is. I knew there was another window. That's the window right in this corner. I'm not treading in there because I shall go through the floor. There's another window that opens out to the front of the building. And then there's a little window here. There's another window down that end that we can't see very well. There's a little window in the roof. Now, this is what I want to have eventually as my workshop. I thought it was the other one upstairs. No, this one. Oh, this I, is, I one. want this is the house we want to live in. And this, look at it, it's got the mezzanine floor. I just wish I could get in there and see more. But this is what I want for my workshop. Look at the, the roof, the timbers. It will be lovely and it will be lovely and light because it's got a window at the front, a window that side, a window at the back, I think. Well, there's definitely a couple of baskets or something over there and some old newspapers again, but I'm not going to... Oh, what looks like a fold-up table or something. But, yeah, um, I can't venture in there just yet. We will have a seriously good look around, especially up on that mezzanine, as soon as it's safe. But, yeah, look, there's the key to my future workshop. Um... Okay, well, obviously there's a lot of storage in this room outside that part of the barn. We haven't decided what we're actually going to use where. I mean, these floorboards will be usable. Who put that there? Because that wasn't there last time when Lucy came in here. I don't remember that being there. That's spooky. Isn't it? It's like someone's keeping Yeah. I don't even remember it being in the house. I don't remember ever seeing that. That is really spooky. That's actually a, a usable little seat. <laughs> right. Now, yes, we, I remember. There's the old shed. Look, we said we wanted a chez lounge. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think I want this one. There's some old throw on the top of there, which I don't think will be salvageable. <laughs> An old rug. Oh, is there another throw? The same, look. Maybe they were using them as curtains or something. There's a couple of old rugs here. Oh, I quite like the rose pink wallpaper. That reminds me of what I had in my bedroom when I was a little girl. That was a long time ago. Oh, uh. Right, again, in this room there is a... Uh, quite a big patch of damage there where the roof was leaking and it still leaks but it's covered up at the moment all right it's very cold in here isn't it trace yeah all right and another beautiful fireplace look at that oh, i've never looked this closely look lovely color isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful the gray i absolutely love that the shape of it i absolutely love that what a shame this is Good. Oh, you wanted some hangers, Trace. No, no, Let's hang them. No, thank you. <laughs> right, so we've got a wooden box. Anything in it? No. Uh, 
Oh, a bit of old ribbon, a cobweb. No, unfortunately there's nothing in here. But I, I can't get over this beautiful fireplace. But there's some things on here, look. Eau de Cologne. This is a man's room, is it not? Eau de Cologne. What is that old one? Oh, don't. It's probably gone off. They do go off. Are you actually going to smell it? No, you can still smell it. Well, it smells nice. Ish. Well, it don't smell horrible. They go a bit stale, don't they? They don't, don't, don't smell Perfumes horrible. Perfumes can go a bit stale. That one looks really old. What does Pharma it is That's that from his pharmacist, yeah. Oh. Can you read any of it? No. Hold it still a minute. I'll try and... Uh, it's, it says Liniers. Pharmacy... JP Curay. Oh, is that him? Can you see the writing on there? No. Nah. It's got somebody's name written on it, I think. Then we've got another Eau de Cologne bottle. Oh. Hold it still a minute. I'll put it down there a minute, Trace, and I'll try and. I don't know if it would have somebody's name on it. I'm trying to shine the light on it to make it better. No, I don't think you can nah. read any writing, but. Yeah, I don't like to think what that would be. And then obviously we've got some some of these old wooden coat hangers. What's that wooden thing there? Try to the bubble on the end. Oh, don't know what that is. More treasure. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and stand back a little bit and take in this fireplace. Although obviously we don't have much light, but wow, that's amazing. See, this would make a beautiful lounge, wouldn't it? Yeah. But then. Central. We've got the two big rooms downstairs. This would have to be bedrooms. Bedroom and ensuite in here, I would think. This is massive. Oh, this could be my 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 bedroom. It's massive. Uh, I think I might need a new wardrobe though. <laughs> this one's falling apart and it's probably full of woodworm again. Oh mind you. It might be. It might be usable for something, even if Tony just uses it in his workshop. We'll see. Well, that's a few bricks. Why do you have bricks in your bedroom? <laughs> that's a pile of bricks. And that obviously comes from the top of the wardrobe. But this room is absolutely massive. I'm going to turn around from this. I'm not quite in the corner. But this is absolutely massive. Obviously you've got the double aspect of it. Slightly slanting shape on the front of the building. But it's huge. The, the ceiling's not great. Obviously this is not as big, but there's another old bed. I'll tell you what, it's a good size room though. Yeah, then it's got this anteroom again, this thing. Well, it's a secret cupboard in the wall, although we knew that one was there. But it's got this old... Oh, what are you doing there? Oh, don't! <laughs> <laughs> you did make me jump. Oh, that's a... Boo! Oh, oh look at this! Oh, look at your wardrobe! I think we might have to straighten it out slightly. Your face, but not so Oh, I know, I know. Oh, uh, I'm on that broken glass there, Tracy. Obviously, these windows have been left open to just let the air go through so that it's not too damp and it was at the time to dry it out because when we first covered the roof up it was absolutely saturated there's a marble on the floor there oh, like, treasure oh, do you know what what marbles are in horror films oh don't honestly they <laughs> fall out in front of you which horror film have you seen marbles in oh, I've seen marbles I can only see one films. I'm going to pick it up and keep it that's going with my collection I do like a nice marble no. <laughs> Some sort of bucket. No, I wouldn't. Oh, try this time. Oh. Are they good pictures, they are? What you want? Yeah, yeah. For no, for no. home. Not That's that probably one. full of straw. That's yeah. the old fashioned. No, you can get them, no? Like... Oh, that marble is freezing. <laughs> yeah, I, marble. It's coming for you I was tonight. looking at this to see what this is like. Some sort of galvanised bucket. Whoa. Why would you have a bucket in your bedroom? Uh, I hate to think. Pocket, yeah, pocket, don't. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's not. 
But if you took that wall out and added the ante room back in here, you've got another huge, huge room. Mm. I'm not happy about the marble. <laughs> oh, I quite like finding things. I actually thought I would find a bit more. Now, if I was brave enough to go in the loft, there's loads of things up there, Trace. What do you think? No, there is lots of boxes and trunks and there's stuff. There's leaves up there. There's what? Leaves on the stairs. They've blown in. Yeah, because it was uncovered for a while again and now it's covered up again. You don't fancy doing it today. Well, go on. Come on you then. first. Oh, me first this time, is yeah. it? Right, okay. I'm going to put that in my pocket. My marble. Right. Stay close to the wall. It might be a little bit slippery if it's damp. I'm sure I've been up here before. Yeah, I've been up here for me too. Oh, yeah. Right, today I'm going to make us some tandoori chicken. So I thought I'd show you because it's a really simple thing to do if you've never tried it. Um, we do like some Indian food, but we can't get it here. We are missing Robert's curries. So, Robert, please come back soon and cook us a nice curry. Um, so we've now got to cope on our own. So I've got some chicken fillets and some chicken pieces. Uh, this is probably better with the chicken pieces with the skin on. And these are thighs and legs. Uh, but you struggle to get the chicken fillets with the skin on, unfortunately. But I'm going to use both. And obviously without the skin, it's slightly less fat. So we could all do with eating a bit more healthily sometimes. Me particularly. Okay, the other ingredients is quite simple. I've got Greek yogurt, natural, any form of natural yogurt. I happen to have Greek yogurt here because that's what I was able to find in France. And a tandoori masala or a tandoori mix. This is quite a large packet that I bought back in the UK from one of the um, Indian spice shops. Um, but you can buy these in the supermarket as well. Sometimes it calls it tandoori spices, tandoori mix, or tandoori masala. And pretty much what we're going to do is marinate it. I'm going to marinate it overnight, then I'm going to cook it tomorrow. So we need a big bowl that can go in the fridge. Now, these are 150 grams. So I'm going to use three of those because I've got two big packs of chicken here. So I can make this now and I can freeze some of those for another time, but I'm going to make two of those. Right, so I've got four big chicken fillets and I've got about seven or eight pieces. Now what I need to do is find a sharp knife and score the skin on the pieces. We have seven pieces here, so thighs are good for this. You might not want all the skin that they've left on there, so I'm going to trim that. What we need to do, we want the spices to infuse into the chicken, so we score the skin slightly into the meat on a thigh, about three places. This is just so that when you rub the mix in, the flavours can get into the meat. Again, another thigh, just chew a little bit of that excess off and score it. So the same with the chicken leg. Oh, it looks like I've only got one leg in this mixture. So again, a couple of little score marks just so that we can get the spices into the meat. A little trim. Score. So we carry on trimming and scoring all our pieces. Just a few. 
few cuts in it. Right. Okay. We're going to do the same thing to the chicken breasts. We're going to cut them into smaller pieces. So these are quite big chicken breasts. I'm going to just trim them up. Um, you could cut that into two or three pieces depending on what size you want to serve it and how big your chicken breasts are. I'm just going to cut those in half and again slightly score. Slightly score. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing the rest of those. Now, I'm using three of these, which are 150 grams each. This is the natural yogurt. This is Greek, Greek style, but you can use any natural yogurt. If you're watching the calories, then you can use the zero fat one and use chicken without the skin. Uh, I, this means I've got 450 grams, or if you buy a big pot in the UK supermarket, it's usually about 500 grams. So to this, I'm going to put six rounded tablespoons of the tandoori masala and just mix it together. To the yogurt into the bowl. So of course I've given the chopping board a good scrub. That's the chopping board that I use for meat. Obviously make sure you scrupulously clean with your hands and your surfaces if you're dealing with raw meat. I'm sure you all know that but just in case. Mm. Into that yogurt mix, we're now going to put our tender in salt. So, um, for the 450 grams, we're going to put six slightly rounded tablespoons of this tandoori masala, tandoori mixed spice. And give that a good old mix up. Just a tip, but some of these tandoori mixes do have colourings in. I think this one must have because it's slightly pinker than some that I've used. So if that's something that you need to watch, then you need to read the ingredients. But they do tend to do this in the Indian, in the Indian restaurant as well as the Indian supermarket. I think you can buy it without the colourings. Okay, and into that we're going to dip our pieces of chicken and make sure that they're coated in the mix. I'm just going to throw them all in and mix them around. You can do this with your fingers if you like, but you might find that it might colour your fingers. So I'm going to use a spoon. I'll just carry on putting all the pieces in the bowl, in that mixture, make sure they get a good coating. You can see I'm making quite a lot here, but then there are four of us at the moment, and if there's any leftovers, then we could have that cold. 
with a bit of salad or something. Well, I do sometimes make an extra batch and then I will put it in the freezer like this. Bring it out, defrost it and cook it on the day I want it. Now, I wouldn't do that if the chicken that I was using had already been frozen. Unless I cooked it first, then I could freeze it again. Now, ordinarily, tandoori chicken should be cooked in a tandoor oven. That's where it gets its name from. But unfortunately, I don't possess a tandoor oven. So, when I do come to cook this tomorrow, this is going to be on a very, very hot oven. Cooking it as quickly as possible. Maybe one day when we get our bread oven going, we could try it in there. I'm sure it would be great. Anyway, just make sure it's all completely covered as much as you can. Then we're just going to let it all soak in overnight. Going to cover that up with a plate or some thin film or foil or a wax wrap. I don't know where my wax wraps are at the moment. I think I might have to make some. Could show you that, couldn't I? If you know, if you don't know what a wax wrap is, it's made with beeswax and cotton, and it's an alternative to cling film. So it's very friendly, eco-friendly, and saves a lot of plastic waste. Perhaps I'll show you that in another vlog. Okay, once again, washing my hands. I'm going to find a clean plate, cover that up, put it in the refrigerator in the fridge and I'm going to leave it overnight. If you want to do this and you've decided on the day, the longer you can leave it the better, but a couple of hours would do. But the longer you leave it, the more infused the flavours are going to be. So it looks a bit of a mess, it's going to be very tasty when it's cooked. Cover it up with a nice plate. Tomorrow. All right, we seem to have a gendarme's vehicle, a pompier's vehicle, and some noisy equipment, and a white truck. Look like, looks like they're perhaps pumping something out of the river over there. Get a little look from down this end, see if we can get the whole thing. Um, and obviously, then there's the little house. I don't know if Tony's going to paint his the similar colour. Do you notice something with me standing here? It's quite quiet because the fountain's been turned off. They always turn it off in the winter, I presume, so that it doesn't freeze up and then they can clean it. But it's very quiet without the fountain. The Christmas decorations are still here. I thought they would have gone by now. But yeah, the Christmas decorations are still here. very foggy this morning and very cold. Oh. Early this morning the Batman has arrived. So wow look how clear that is this morning. All the scrap metal has been pulled out. The scrap metal man is here collecting things. Plus the old railings and old washing, not washing machines, old cookers and things, and old bed frames. Hey. Yeah, that's a lot different. And look at these flags. This is going to be quite a nice entrance way, this. Yes, I'm liking this. 
So all that wool's been rendered on here. Might have to take that off. We'll see. Maybe we'll just paint it. Oh wow! More treasure! You look like one of them little boys in the olden times that used to have the hoop and the oh, stick. <laughs> wow, look at that. Concrete bird bar. Oh yeah, so I was just trying to see what that was. You could paint that, couldn't we? And a pump wheel. That's brilliant. Do you remember those ones that they had in the restaurant you did, the Wright Brothers restaurant? Yeah. That had mirrors behind them. They were a lot smaller than that, weren't they? But they do look pretty. They did an outside toilet. So you have got, I said, just said to Tracy, I bet they've been in the outside toilet finding treasures. Okay. All right, I'm following. Oh, yeah. Let's go and see. How did you get in there, though? Because we didn't cut it back, did we? Hang on. Slippery slope to climb up. Oh, where are you going now? Is there nothing else in the outside toilet then? I mean, there is other things in here. Yeah. What exciting things? Yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh, well, the door's open. Well, I better go in, haven't I? Going in. That's where that's come from. Ooh. Oh, why would you put a pump wheel in your outside toilet? Or a bird bath, for that matter. <laughs> hey. Right. Yeah, this is not as overgrown as it was. There's a huge pile of rocks there. I think that's probably where um, where the hole was made in the wall originally so that we could get in and out. Mind it's very slippery, Trace. This tree obviously is going to have to go. Ooh, and I can see lots of cobwebs. I can see a brilliant door though. Look at that with the heart on it. Isn't that look cute? Through the, look through while you're going There's paint. newspaper on the wall, look. <laughs> I can see it from here. Right, well, I'm going in. Ooh. Oh, it's a proper... Is it a proper loo? This is a proper old hole in the ground. Oh, no. No, it's like a bench seat hole with a toilet seat on it. Oh, Ooh. my God. Wow. Go in. What's that there? I don't know. It's probably an air vent, I would think. Oh, I'm not sure, but... Go on. Oh, I've got something sticking on me. Ow! Oh. It's a Brambles on yeah. the back of my leg. Ouch. Hang on. Right, Hi. okay. It's gone there. Hang on. Hi. Oh. Go on, it's gone there. Ooh, that looks <laughs> It's got wallpaper on it. Have you got a light with you? I no. Brought... I'll have to come oh, back with the torch. It's got wallpaper on it. You know that wallpaper we found in the secret yeah. cupboard? Well, then oh, we found you... another secret cupboard. No, we haven't. <laughs> it's a grotty old toilet Lift seat. It up. No, I'm not going to touch oh, it. Get out of the way. All right, there's nothing in that bit. That's where Hold you put me. your toilet. Hold me. That's where you put your toilet roll. Oh, Tracy, don't. What is it? I can't see it. Well, it's, it looks know. like it's blocked in. No, hang on. Stay here. Stay here. I can't Stay film here. it. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. Tracy, don't. Something will crawl out of it. Don't. Oh, you are brave. <laughs> oh, don't. Where does it go though? What? I think. Oh. What I'm not sure. Go I, over there. I can't see. It's too dark. Turn it off. How do I put a light on my phone? I don't know. Turn it off and let's put the uh, torch on. Okay, Tracy's come back with a torch. Well, well done, Tracy. You've braved the brambles twice now. It's not what I wanted, but. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll do. But. Now, we saw Tracy kick the lid off, but we couldn't see. Ooh, Tracy, no! See, Trace, get out of the way. Let me look. No, I need the No, you're going to have to hold oh, it and no. do it at the same time. And there's a little wall over there. Oh, don't. Oh, it does go a long way down. Anyway, is there a pipe that goes somewhere, did you say? or is it? There's an hole there, see what it? The... Can you see it? Over there. Oh, yes. Yes, Tracy, you're right. And then it goes, it goes away... I bet it goes to the river. This is giving me the creeps. Show me the wallpaper, Trace. <laughs> it's got the same wallpaper as the lounge. Ooh, that is gross. And this was their toilet. It had a wooden seat on it, and then they updated it with the plastic one. Dan, what's in there? Rubbish? Yeah. 
Oh, this is exciting. Another bit we've seen for the first time. But I'm definitely keeping that door, whatever. Even if I have to put that on my workroom. I'm getting rid of lots of scrap here. Wow, I can hear noises. They're bringing them down from up top. Let's film that. Oh, these are heavy. Mind the toes. Oh dear. I'm <laughs> back to the job in hand, which is trying to steal some of the uh, yeah, steal some of the tiles off of the top of that wall. It's what. Right. Old careful tone. Oh. That's not very wide, that wall, is it? I don't know, but it's moving. Oh. Well, please be careful. Are you just waiting to catch him, Tony? <laughs> just catch the titles. Just stop doing that, Tony. <laughs> All right. I've seen one top of that heat. They won't break. Oh. Yeah, it would if it hits the other title. Oh, don't. And they're heavy. Mind yourself, Tony. Ready, oh, well, cool. Are you right with me filming you catching these tiles? This one's <laughs> broken here, but it's still usable. Well, cool. How many more do we need? I suggest we pull these up and see what we need. See and see how many, yeah. Uh, you got a few already, haven't you? Be careful. Where is that under there? Just ivy. Is it? Anything interesting? It's what, sorry? Yeah. Oh, don't the whole wall's falling down. But yeah, the plan is to chop the end of that garden off where you are, Tony. Oh, yeah. And, and straight through so that we get a better view from the courtyard. Because it blocks our view, doesn't it, down to this part of the garden. Where's that going? Back, oh, is that what you're using to do the tiles with? Yeah. That's hard work, just lifting that one backwards and forwards. Right, I'm going to cook my tandoori chicken. Right, it's been marinated overnight. And we are going to the chateau to visit our friends. Um, it's early on a Friday afternoon and we're not allowed to go out. There's no restaurants open or bars and we still have the curfew at eight o'clock. So we're going to have an early tea and a drink. And then we'll be back here before the curfew at eight o'clock. Anyway, if you've got a grill pan, this might be easier with a grill pan. I don't for the moment. So I've got the oven on as high as it goes. These would normally be cooked in a tandoor oven, which is exceedingly hot. Mm. 
and these chicken pieces because it's such a high heat but it has to cook through to the middle will hopefully start to get slightly char grilled on the top once they're cooked in the middle yeah, I'm a bit stretched for space I wouldn't normally put them this close together but I'm taking extra to the chateau These will probably take about 25 minutes in total. I'll probably turn them over halfway. Right. I'm going to put those in the oven and then I shall show you how they're doing in a little while. I've taken the tandoori chicken out of the oven. Well, we're going to finish it off with the chateau. It should perhaps be a little bit more char grilled than that, but that's going to be yummy. Oh, is this what he's pulled down? Yeah. So he's pulled down some insulation that was up there so that we can go up and have a look and he was quite excited about it so but he wouldn't tell us oh